Well, Limpopo's Department of Education says it's ready for this year's matric final exams. The province's class of 2021 achieved a pass rate of just over 66%. The department says this year it's aiming for 80%. Let's speak about this with Mabungu Lerule Ramakhanya, the Limpopo Education MEC. MEC, thankful for your time today. 66.7%. You want to take that to 80%. How have pupils been resourced to make sure that's achievable? Uh, good afternoon, and uh, let me also greet the viewers. You will know that um, as a province, like you said, we were at 66%, but w we, we had uh, different programs that we had to enrich our learners. From our winter holidays, we had enrichment classes where we had um, schools being clustered, and the teachers that are specializing in those subjects being the ones that are leading in terms of uh, leading those uh, school camps and enrichment centers. We had the uh, Saturday schools where the schools have been uh, working around the clock uh, with learners staying in school for the weekends so that then we can be able to push more. But also, lastly, we had the uh, camps over now with the September holidays where all the learners, especially for grade 12, has been in those centers when we were calling them enrichment centers. So we are sure we are aiming higher so that then even if we do not make it, but we do not go back to where we were. Let me see, Ramakanya, would you agree though that perhaps in looking at the approach to helping matriculants or grade 12 pupils, it needs to be uh, a year-long thing. And I say year-long, I know matric is only about nine, ten months, but it cannot be left to that final stretch as we often see happen where they are taken to camps, extra lessons, because often for many people, especially because pupils don't learn at the same pace, that can be too late. Yes, I, I agree. The, the last exco we have even agreed that... Um, we, we, as the Department of Education, we have to introduce all those programs by January. So these are part of the management plans that we have, which in January now, in 2023, when they are going back, what we have been doing after July should start at the beginning of the year. But you will remember that um, uh, we are also checking and looking that as much as this cohort of 2022 have been hit by two years of COVID, but at the same time, they were in the class the whole full year. So there has been a bit of teaching that has been happening, but we still feel that um, the enrichment camps. But one of the things that they have also committed to is that during the exam period, they will be able to also uh, work and uh, stay in class and stay in school because they are agreeing with us as the learners to say when they are at home, it's not all of them that has got the comfort to be able to start. Right. Which brings me to my next point because the challenge for province such as Limpopo is making sure that a kid in an urban area is as resourced as someone who is in a village. Do you think you've been successful in striking that balance? Um... It's a, it's a battle that we should win um, because you'll remember that even in the rural areas in the village, there are some areas that we have got connectivity. So when you have got connectivity, that means that you have got a space that is resourced in terms of electricity and uh, water where the learners can go and be able to stay and do extra lessons. But at the same time, we, 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 we know that uh, our responsibility is to make sure so when it comes to the exam, all the children, all the learners will have to be treated the same. So with all the camps, with all, I can give an example with Skukune, they had to take their learners to the Wumbain so that then they can have better place where they can house them and they, amongst themselves they can form groups that they give each other support. Mm. So we, we are going to, to make sure we treat them equally as we do the exams and it's all over the province that all the educators have committed to be teaching them while they are writing. You mentioned electricity. I know today was the computer application technology practical session where they actually have to work the, the, the teenagers on a computer. You need power to do that. 
have all pupils sitting for the matric exams in Limpopo today been able to do that without any interference because of the power cuts? Uh, not really. You'll remember that it will also differ by um, uh, the place where they will be, but in our province they were able to sit. Uh, we have not had any reports of uh, any incidents where maybe when they had to do that we had power cuts. Uh, if that is still to come, that means we'll receive it later today. But up to so far, I've not got any reports to say where we were, we were not able to then have a generator mm -hmm. to be able to assist the learners. And where do you stand, MEC, finally on the debate around um, matric and how we assess the quality of our matric, and I don't want to say output because these are people, not products, but people have said, some experts in the space have said we need to move away from focusing, for instance, on a goal of an 80% class pass, but rather look at the quality of the passes because if we push through 80% and the quality of the passes is not great, often many of those young people are condemned to another year or two of trying to improve the same results or not even being able to get into varsity, find work, etc. Yes, that debate um, should be able to happen at a national level because you'll remember that as Limpopo, we, we are indeed um, at a very, very back foot when it comes to the number. But when you look at the quality of the bachelors and the, the subjects that our learners passes, you will find that we, we are better off. But because we have been using the number, I can give you an example now. When, when we say we are going to be sitting the public schools only, I will be having 111, 515 learners that are sitting only in public schools. And, and it means that, like you are indicating, the quality should be able to come out of the bachelors that will be able to produce, but equally also on the subjects that the learners would have passed. And I think with Limpopo, you'll, you'll then know that, um, even when we are behind, our quality has been better. But now we also want to, to look at saying just not the quality, but also the numbers should be able to go high. What we did as part of the discussions that I had with the circuit manager, curriculum advisors, and also the school principal just at our level to prepare for the exams, we were able to sit and relook at the, the results of their a, a test that they've been writing in both the three terms, analyze the subjects and also analyze how they've been performing so that then we can be able to know that now when they get into exam, where should we focus? But you'll know that we have got an interest on mathematics and science right. and agricultural science to be part of those that are done in the province. MEC Mabungu Lerule Rabakanya from the Limpopo Education Department. Thank you so much for your time, ma'am.